and welcome back to the Kansas Ag Report. And uh, our special guest uh, this week uh, is uh, Kansas Ag Secretary uh, Mike Beam. Uh, Mr. Secretary, uh, thanks for joining us. Well, thank you for the invitation. Well, I tell you, this has been an interesting time that we are in and uh, wanted to uh, have you uh, come on and talk kind of if you will, uh, kind of the state of the state of Kansas agriculture in light of the coronavirus COVID-19. Uh, I know you've had several releases out of, of uh, doing the best you can to kind of keep things as normal as possible. Yes, this is an unprecedented time. Uh, and uh, I, I was just recently thinking that when we have a, a so-called disaster, uh, usually it's a fairly short time period. But you know this is day after day and, and lingers on, and, and I know it's starting to probably wear a little on the psyche uh, of everyone, and it's, there's not anyone uh, that it doesn't touch. But uh, I think one of the messages that we th think is important uh, is to uh, remind everyone that what our farmers and ranchers do day to, on a day-to-day -day basis uh, is providing uh, you know the food, fuel, and fiber. Uh, for the immediate needs, but for uh, this country and for the world to come. So it uh, part of what we have done and are continuing to do uh, is to try to provide information to our state emergency operations center uh, as they get questions about, you know, what is an essential function and, and what can and can still be done. So we, and we've also just recently sent a news release out saying, you know, it's for the most part, it's business as usual for agriculture, but uh, we're doing business in a new way. And so it's, um, it, it's very challenging. And we try to remind folks that even with the stay home order and the social distancing, you know, that still applies once, you know, we're off the clock or not actively directly doing serving those essential functions. Well, this time of the year, of course, uh, we've turned the calendar. We're into April. That means uh, spring field work, if it hasn't already begun, will begin soon. Uh, planting intentions, we kind of know what those are. That means there's going to be a lot of things going on. So uh, we have assurances that uh, folks will be able to get the inputs that they need then of, of all those uh, all those things kind of been uh, taken into consideration. So uh, maybe maybe a few extra phone calls with your supplier to make sure that uh, uh, everybody kind of understands how to get to the needs that the, the things that they need. Well, sure. I think just make sure to 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 plan ahead and and call ahead, which I think is probably not really needs to be said. But you're right. We're at a busy season uh, with spring planting, uh, cattle being processed, turned out on grass. Um, but again. Uh, fortunately, that can be done with, uh, you know, in most cases with, with groups of less than 10 and always uh, with appropriate social distancing. What about, uh, you know, this time of the year? We'll talk maybe more about uh, other things that goes on in the spring, but uh, sometimes we do uh, brandings. Uh, any advice there for those groups to get together? I assume those uh, kind of same rules apply this year. Well, I would say yes. It's um, we need to take into consideration. Uh, we maybe need to do things a little bit differently, but it, it's what's be what has happened in people's interaction over the last ten days, two weeks, and the next two weeks is statewide, nationwide. That's going to determine how much more the, uh, of the, this virus that spreads. So always, always keep that in mind. We're talking with the Mike Beam, the Kansas Secretary of Agriculture. Let's take a quick break. We'll have more in just a moment. <laughs> 